Another hallmark of a narcissistic relationship is there's a competition with everything, even with their own children. So it's very common that if the guy is doing really well in life, he's having more friends, she'll try to sabotage him. She'll try to say, well, he's not so great. You know, she'll feel like he's getting more attention than she is. And so she'll try to knock him down a peg and talk badly about him to people. And then he'll be like, I don't understand what the problem is. The thing is, she's in competition with you. And it's not uncommon for a guy to be married to a woman who has daughters and the daughters come of teenage years and she'll start accusing him of looking at her daughters because she's jealous of her daughter's beauty. And this is classic projection from the narcissist because the narcissist is always looking around to see what kind of male orbiter she can have. She's always keeping tabs on the guys that might have interest in her because at any moment she's just like, okay, well, I'll just bail and go over here. She's always looking for that exit strategy. And so she's projecting that on you. She thinks that you're looking for that exit strategy. You're looking for any kind of sexual out or some sort of like, if I can get away with it and I wanna do it, I'm gonna go do it. She's not thinking about the empathy. And so she's thinking that you're not empathetic either. So she projects all the way she is onto you. She's going to think that you're the way she is. And so it's not uncommon for the narcissist to start accusing you of being narcissistic. You may come out and say, hey, I need a little bit of attention here. Don't you ever think about my feelings? You know, she's like, oh, everything's about you. You must be narcissistic. And you're like, no, I just, it's never about me. Can you like recognize that something's going on here. Just hammering you constantly with like belittling comments and stuff like this. If you're in a kind of relationship like that, just realize you're just not in a place that you could save it. I mean, even me with all the skills that I have, I can work those type of things, but it's just not worth the time and energy. And it's not my job to go and try to make a person feel better or to make a person a better person. That's their job. So anyways, if you'd like to learn more about that, you can find me at genuineattraction.com and my name is Ed Baxter.